guys, Matty Brooks from Adventure Plus Outdoor Education here. Today we're going to look at the walk around the stove, or the walk star, or spaceship, whatever you want to call it. Um, some of the kit that comes with it, and also the uh, safety considerations we need uh, to keep in mind when we're using anything that burns out bush. Alright, so, walk around the stove, great bit of kit for group cooking. Alright. Little bags, one planner made these bags, some other operators made these bags. Really good bit of kit for keeping them in. Alright, so I'm going to take the stove out in bits and then we'll have a look at each of the components that we've got in there. Alright, so what I've got with me is the two burners that are used on the stove. You can use four if you want, if you really want to burn things up. Now I get things going nice and hot for the burners, and each of those burners has the simmering on it so I can control the flame open and shut. So that sits on top of my burner and I can open and shut that sits on there and I can also use it to pull the flame out. Alright, got my grips for picking up my pot if I need to. Alright, um, or alternatively I can use the gloves which are very very handy. The actual stove itself comes in three bits. They're pretty easy to put together. We slot them together, there'll be two slots you can see. We're going to lock them together and then I'm going to turn it up with a flat side and you'll see the, the actual slots in the stove section, the flat section. I'm going to slot that down onto my, onto my base and then we're going to turn that. So we're going to turn those around. All right, so you should end up with your base and stove ending like such. All right. Now I can use that flat section, I can use my stove two ways, that flat section of putting my pot on top or I can turn it up the other way and use my wok on top. Alright, so I'm going to place that down on the ground and then I'm ready to rock and roll. Now there's a couple of considerations we need to make sure of before we light anything out bush. First one is we need to make sure there's nothing flammable within three meters of our stove. So I'm going here, yep, there's only a bush up there, the grass is nice and green here so it's not going to light. There's no tents, tents burn really quickly, alright, tarps, that sort of stuff, none of that within three meters. Alright, I've got some water, I need to have water so I can put it out if I need be, okay. Um, I need to have an adult present supervising it. If that adult goes away, alright, we need to put the flame out. Right, that's uh, fire regulations uh, and it's law that we need to abide by. So we've got that set there. All right, set up with our stove. I'm going to get my burners ready. And I can put them on the stove. All right, so I'm ready to rock and roll. Going to get my water out, or my sorry, correction, my metho, my alcohol. So ready to go. We'll put it in there. Fill it up, that'll sink down a little bit, it'll fill the reservoir up around the side uh, and then we can add a little bit more if we need be. Alright, once I've got my fuel, I'm going to take my fuel bottle, I'm going to put that away to the side, away from where I'm cooking. Alright, that'll keep me nice and safe. If I've got multiple stoves going, I can have a little bit of a circle, alright, and nobody crosses that circle. And that prevents any stoves getting kicked over, um, food getting cooked, kicked over, we don't want that, uh, and people getting burnt. So we have a circle of stoves, one, two, three, four around the circle, and then nobody goes inside that circle, we just cook. Alright, so I'm ready to go there. I can use my similar ones if I need to, I'll keep them handy. I'm going to put some water on the water in my pot, and I'm going to get my flint or alternatively my matches or a lighter. Now we can light with the matches, you can light with a flint or we can light with a lighter. Um, advantage of the flint is, alright, so it's nice and wet or muddy, I can wipe that off, I can check that it's all good and then that's still going to work. Alright, so being that we're burning, we're cooking with metho or alcohol, Initially, we're not going to be able to see the flame. All right, 
I can run my hand over that and it'll tell me whether it's actually burning or not. Yep. Get a little bit of heat from those. Yep. Fantastic. All right, don't go too close. Just run your hand across the top, you'll feel the heat from it. Now that I'm ready to go, I can pop that on the top and I'm cooking away. All right. With a wok burner stove. All right, we're using metho. We need to use a little bit of wind protection if the wind's about. All right. This will help us in reducing the amount of fuel we're actually burning. All right, if we don't use, we're still perfectly cooked without a windshield, but we will go through considerable, considerably more fuel. All right, so I'm going to put that around it, feel the wind's coming from, press that in there, and that's going to let us, that's going to cook, cook away. All right, once I've cooked away, a couple things to look at. If you are going to be taking this on, taking it off, please use gloves or use your grip. All right, particularly important with the wok. All right, because we've got metal handles here and it's going to burn if we've had that on there for a long period of time. All right, in this case, my stays, my water's boiled away. All right, only a small amount of water in there so I can pick it up with the grips. I'm going to take them to the side and I want to simmer. All right, so I want to reduce the amount of heat that's coming out of the stove. So I'm going to put my simmer pot on and my simmer ring on and I can use that to control the heat. All right, just tap it with your grips uh, and that'll reduce the amount of heat. So both burners we can do that too. I want to put it out completely. Use our controlled, our closed burner lid and we're just going to put that onto the lid. All right, so I've got it out, completely out there. I'm going to let it cool down. Give myself a little bit of time to cool down. I can drain that fuel off, pack up all my stuff, and I'm good to go. Fantastic. All right, I want to thank you for uh, watching this today. If you've got any tips, any pointers, anything you'd like to see in the next version, let us know, and uh, we'll add it.